Number 5. Three astronauts propelled by jet backpacks push and guide a 120 kg asteroid toward a processing dock, exercising the forces shown in this figure over here. With F1, the magnitude of F1 is equal to 32 newtons, the magnitude of F2 is equal to 55 newtons, and the magnitude of F3 is equal to 41 newtons. Theta 1 is equal to 30 degrees, and theta 3 is equal to 60 degrees. We don't need theta 2 because F2 points to the x direction, so the angle is zero. What is the asteroid's acceleration in unit vector notation and as a magnitude and a, and a direction relative to the positive direction of the x-axis? So the first thing that we have to do is decompose these forces over here so we can write the, the forces in vector notation, unit vector notation. So for example, let's draw our axis over here. So this is x, this is y. Let's say that this is our F1 and we can decompose this force as a F1x, the component in the x direction and the component in the i direction, F1y, and this is the angle. So F1x is equal to F1, the magnitude of the vector, times the cosine of theta 1 and f1y is equal to the magnitude of the vector times the sine of theta 1. So if we do this calculation over here we would find that the x component of f1 is equal to 27.7 newtons and the y component is equal to 16 newtons. Okay, so our F1 in unit vector notation is equal to 27.7 in the i direction plus 16 in the j direction and everything is in newtons here. So this is F1. F2 is much simpler because it points to the x direction. So F2 is just the magnitude of the vector 55 in the i direction and it is in newtons as well. For F3, we have to do the same process as we did in this case over here. However, the, the angle over here, theta 3, is not in the counterclockwise direction. So we have to use this angle over here. This angle over here, which is equal to 300 degrees. Or you can use this angle and choose the sines properly, so according to what you have but it's easier to use 300 degrees instead of 60 degrees. So F3x is equal to the magnitude of F3 times the cosine of 300 degrees and this gives us 20.5 newtons. The y component of vector of force 3 is equal to the mod, uh, the magnitude of vector 3 times the sine of 300 degrees and this gives us minus 35.5 newtons so our vector f3 is equal to 20.5 in the i direction minus 35.5 in the j direction and everything is in newtons. So we have written here our forces in unit vector notation, but that's not what we want. We want the acceleration. So let's remember Newton's second law, that the sum of the forces is equal to mass times acceleration. So the acceleration is the sum of the forces over mass. So we, ha we have to sum F1 plus F2 plus F3, so the acceleration is equal to F1 plus F2 plus F3 over mass, and this gives us, let's see, 0 
0.86 in the i direction minus 0.16 in the j direction in meters per square second. So this is the answer of letter A. For letter B, we want the magnitude of the vector. So the magnitude of the acceleration is just the square root of each term squared. So it's 0.86 squared plus minus zero, sorry, plus minus 0.16 squared. And this gives us 0 0.88 meters per second squared. So this is the magnitude of the vector. Letter C, we need the direction relative to the positive direction of the x-axis. So the, the, let's remember that the tangent of an angle in respect to the, the, the x-axis is equal to the y component over the x component, the opposite side over this side over here. So it's the green over the, the blue in a generic way. So if we want the angle, we have to use the inverse function, which is tangent to the minus one of ay over ax. And this gives us the inverse function of tangent of minus 0 0.16. Let's me write let me write it again. 0.16 over 0 0.86. And this gives us two different uh, answers. It gives us minus 11 degrees and also gives us plus 169 degrees. So we have to choose which angle is the correct one. So let's see. Let's draw our vector over here our vector acceleration. So the acceleration points in the positive x direction and points in the negative direction of the y direction. So something like this. So the vector should be something like this. And this is minus 11 degrees or it is 169 degrees. 169 degrees is to the other side, it's in the second quadrant. So the correct answer is this angle over here, minus 11 degrees, roughly minus 11 degrees. And that's it.